the last couple techniques that we had on the, the videos there, the slideshows, um, we're going to keep the same hand position for pretty much all of them. We just showed you with the diaphragm technique, if they can't get their hands up behind your back, um, or they're getting trouble, trouble working with that position or working directly on the ribs, we can work from the diaphragm from here. So again, as they take a deep breath in, I'm going to come out. As they breathe out, I can sink in and bow up. So again, try to create that pumping effect, increase the excursion of the diaphragm. So I just don't want to get too, too deep yet, um, because I don't want to, because again, I want to be charging more of the diaphragm, because the pressure is more up and scooping upwards as I do this. From the same position, if we want to do, I'm going to get a little bit of tissue slapping my thumbs together, but again, on the exhale, I can broaden my thumbs wide. And this is kind of getting a pump on the liver and the spleen simultaneously. So again, this time as we exhale, I'm going to be working out that way. So again, find a rhythm that's comfortable for you and the patient. That really is going to dictate the rate that you work at. Um, the final technique, we're working with the ciliac ganglia. Uh, again, just to create a huge inhibitory response for the whole digestive system, especially for IBS, call, uh, Crohn's disease, um, colitis. This is really going to help settle a lot down. So really slow that transit time down. And with this, as they breathe, again, we're going to work with their breath. Um, as they breathe in, I have my pressure off. As they exhale, I'm going to start a clockwise motion. I'm going to sink down. Keep the pressure off as they come up. And we're just going to start to slowly work a little bit deeper with each passing repetition. The inhales, we come up. As the exhales, I'm going to come down again deeper. And when you feel that really strong, clear aortic pulse, that's when you know you've got down to your depth. And you see you're going very deep with that. So again, we want to keep this inhibitory pressure on that. Then we're going to come back up. And right down. He's very happy with this right now. Definitely keeping the knees bent up as you do this uh, to make sure we ease the pressure as we're going down, just to make it easier to get that deep depth. So we're going to keep this two or three cycles down there. But again, we want to have that slow inhibitory pressure built up in the ciliac ganglia. Again, for acute diarrhea, IBS, this is really going to be effective.